All right, so recently I was accepted into the Deco Arts Helping Artists program, and I got my order. I didn't get a complete order, but I got some of the Deco Art Media Fluid Acrylics, which I've really been wanting to try. So, uh, like I said, I got a partial order. So, the colors that I got were all in the reds and the yellows. So what I'm going to have to do is a little bit of tone on tone due to the limited. I did get a sap green and a turquoise color which I'll try to use as little pops and I did get some of their uh, misters. I didn't get all of those either yet. Uh, so I'll use some of them as an accent after I'm done jelly plating. So what I'm going to do first of all is I want to make some pocket letters and some ATC type artist trading cards. And so I've just got regular playing cards. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use Americana white and black. And I just want to get a base on the cards. I've already done a few. I've got nine white, nine black, but they need another coat or two. So I'm just going to be doing that for real quick and I'll just speed it forward since it's going to be real repetitive till we get to the actual jelly printing. And I'm just using my 8x10 plate. Alright, so I have 18 of the black, and I'm going to set those aside. They're dry, and I'm going to use metallics and PBOs on those, so it'll pop and show on the black for the most part. And I'm going to switch over to the white. And again, I have about nine of them already coated, and I'm going to use the Americana white. All right, this is the Quincidone Gold. Now I'm ready to start on some of these on the reverse side. Really like the look of a lot of these. So I don't need to add much to them. They've got some color brayered off on them. Some of them don't have much at all. So I'm going to go with transparent red oxide. Really just want to kind of get some background color on some of them that don't have any much of anything. All right, so now I'm going to try a Thalo Turquoise. All right, and I can't brayer, so I'm going to clean the back of my brayer because these, I don't want to get anything but just that pop of turquoise. ones that had the wider 
backgrounds look better with this turquoise. So I'm going to try to get a additional print because I think I still got enough paint on some of the ones on the wider part. say this color really intense with the red. Can't leave them too long on the jelly plate because they do peel back some of the layers. A little bit of paint right there. Actually, before I clean up, I am going to take some white and try to do just a little bit of a cleanup print with what I have on my plate. I'm just going to do this on paper. So I'm not sure these are the paints for the cards. I'm not sure I like the cards on the jelly plate. Oh. But I love just paper. It's got all these layers. You can even see that's the yellow from where I did that little spot. But it all, there's some yellow here. It looks really grungy. That's a keeper, my friends. All right, so let me clean up. All right, so I have bought five that have, like, the turquoise and the yellow with the orange and I just really don't like it so I did off camera try a little bit of sap green on top of it and it did sort of take it down so I'm gonna do a layer of the sap green and I want a fairly big stencil opening on these because I really want to get rid of most of that. See it just sort of muddied it up a little bit. And I think on some of these, I just need to go back to white. muted but you can still see so that one actually became really interesting some of these and they almost look like a tapestry all right I'm gonna clean up again real quick all right so I added some 
Quincidone Magenta on a top of just a few of them. And this one I just brayered on and got some of the stuff. So those I think I like and actually could go in the done pile. And I have uh, a little violet. I think I'm going to use this tree stencil. It'll cover everything at one time. And I am going to do a clean up on paper because that'll be really pretty with that. Definitely love these paints on the jelly plate, but I don't really like them on the cards. And it could just be the slick texture of the cards. So I am going to switch to some PBOs and some metallics. A little PBO orange yellow. And a little bit of bronze with that. is probably too dry. All right, so before I do this print, I am going to take the pink blue and do a layer of that. I'm going to Oh, look at that. All the way down to the card. Well, I'll pick it up in the cleanup print here in a minute. Alright, so I'm going to let that dry. Put white. Now I'm just going to go to regular paper with this. Too much of the pink but it'll make a real good base you can see where it picked up all that torn off paint right there and a little bit of the black still quite a bit here I think what I'm gonna do is add a real thin layer of white and try to pick up some of this on some of the uglies. Right, I need to clean my plate so I can get started with a different color. I think I'm going to do 
Well, maybe I'll do a thin layer of black. So I'm going to do some pops of black, maybe. Maybe some of that will come up with the black. So I'm going to do a really thin. layer of black because I think some of these cards with just a little pop of black oh, that black dried really fast clean up because I'm just losing card on the jelly plate. Alright, what I decided to do is I just took my scratch paper and I'm just pulling off some of this black and I'm going to do sort of a reverse cleanup on paper. Alright, so I think I want to go with the turquoise next. with the PBO. And I am going to use a little bit of paper. Try to get some of that off through this stencil. I think a pop of copper. All right, then I'm going to take the paper to it lightly. All right, now I may have mud. I want to do a cleanup print with that. Get all these cards out of my way. I have no idea what I have with the cards. I know I do not have a pocket letter because I don't think there's nine of them that have a consistent theme. I could have done black, but since there's black on the bottom, I thought white would be better. All right, let me set that there. So here's sort of where we're at. I do think the turquoise helps some of them. Now let me get it a little closer so you can see a little better. There are some of them. They're flip sides. few more minutes. I think what some of these could use is perhaps a little layer. This one's just black and copper on one side in a pattern. This one's got... And I think what I'll do is is give them a coat of decoupage medium and then I may stamp on some of them with black stamps flip into the other side and that one just ended up kind of almost white you can still see the original playing card it's 
it's hard to tell on camera, but they do have a real interesting texture. I wouldn't say it's a fail. But I think I'd rather jelly print on paper and cut it up. Let me back this out a minute. That's an interesting grunge. It, the turquoise is lost. It kind of muddied up. But if it's dried and then you added something with turquoise on it, it'd be a real pretty background piece to start with. And then either stencil or stamp some metallic turquoise or use some kind of embellishment. maybe even just some black, a pop of black, and then some turquoise like off-centered. Alright, so that's it for this session, and I'm really not going to edit this video a whole lot. So, basically, the best thing I ended up with is the cleanup prints. So there's this one here with the copper and the black, the bright pink, the magenta, and the turquoise. So I ended up with really four pretty. The cards I kind of like, my advice would be that they might need to be sanded to make the paint adhere better. Um, I really like the deco art media fluid on the jelly plate I don't think I liked it with the slick surface of the cards I like the translucency and the layers that you could build and I think on white paper these will rock and I'll do a video in that next week I also have some interference colors that I'm gonna work with But that's it for tonight, and then I'll do a second video and show you where I take these. I'm going to put a layer of Mod Podge on them just to kind of seal in what they have and sort of protect them a little bit. I might stamp on them. I'll film whatever I do to them. Thanks for watching.